This is Betty. Betty is a D-miner with an all-female demining team in Ye, South Sudan. A young country and a country ravaged by decades of civil war. Like any war, a dirty war. We'd left in its wake a deadly trail of unexploded bombs and shells and landmines. In a country with heat averaging 110 degrees, even a sliver of shadow might have been mined. Streets, bridges, wells, every mango tree or other source of food, every riverbank which could give troops a foothold under fire. It spreads fear. A fear which cripples economies and sometimes whole communities. A fear of mines which may not even be there. But how can they know? This cheap weapon, which costs only $2 to put in, will ultimately cost almost $2,000 to take out. It's a shameless, ruthless killer, not discriminating against women, children, troops, or animals. Lying there, silent and ready, like a soulless soldier needing no food or rest, never complaining, always ready to do its dirty work for 30 years and beyond. But there is Betty. Every day she goes into the field to find those mines. Every day, no matter how hot it is, she is working on her knees for hours on end, brushing weeds with her fingers, probing the earth inch by inch, inch by inch. She is dedicated to finding what absolutely must be found. Every mine she finds is one less waiting to kill or injure. Every square inch of soil she declares mine-free is a square inch more of relief, a bit more future for a whole region. This is Betty. When her day is over, she will go back to her camp, but you can be sure she will be back the next day, and every day, until the last mine is gone. Join me in supporting Betty and Unmas in their life-saving work.